Hello Rover fans, this is Chris. Welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you more about trying to fix this bulkhead on this 1969 Land Rover. It's rusted out as you can see over in the corner and down here and all sorts of other places. I'm going to use a piece here that I bought from Rover's Nord to fix that bulkhead over there. This thing is 50 plus years old and nothing has ever been done to it except to the foot wells there which um, I've welded uh, over the years. So. so you're alone for a great ride. Uh, I hope you have lots of questions along the way and put them in the comments box at the bottom. And we'll start working on this piece here on the right. Um, this is actually on the passenger side. And you can see I've ground off um, what was a fair amount of, of rust. And um, it was just like bubbly paint. And actually up in here, all of this was filled in with um, Bondo. Anyway, it goes down, all the way down to right down, down, down here, right, right above the top of the doorpost. And you can see this is, these here are uh, bolts where the hinge for the door goes. Okay, this is the uh, driver's side. I'm going to grind this down a little bit too, um, just to see how far the damage goes. And, and again, this is a wire brush, not a grinder. So I'm going to mark a line here just to give me some reference, probably right here and not too deep in. Uh, yeah, it'll probably be the whole, the whole side up here to the bend, just so um, that will fit over. You can see deep in here. Uh, that there's part of the bulkhead here, so I can, I don't want to trim it all the way into that. I think I'll just cut out the r rusty portion all the way to here and then over and up behind the top bolt for that uh, captive nut plate, maybe go up to here rather. Okay, you can see with the Dremel tool that I've managed to cut around here, I'm going to pop this off and then we're going to take a look at that plate behind there and see what we have to do in terms of making some spot welds and putting that nut plate, uh, those fixed um, captive nuts on. Wow, there we go. Okay, as promised, here's another peek inside there. And you can see the edge of the bulkhead, that closed and closed part over in here and then here. Right up and down here is that captive nut plate. We're going to try to remove that and then uh, maybe take a look at how it's put in there to begin with. It looks like there's a, it looks like it's spot welded in here. So give it a try. Okay, here's what we've done. We've cut this piece out from that uh, section for the replacement. And I've cut a little cross piece out too. And what this will do is this will set on top of there. This will be able to slide up and down behind the um, door pillar. And then these captive nuts I'll spot weld on here and then here, and we'll spot weld these in behind the door. Okay, I've put that uh, that piece in place with the, uh, the nuts attached to it, welded onto the plate, and now I'm gonna attempt to weld that cross section on. Whoops. And here's what's going on inside. I marked this, I spot welded the plate over here, and then I will connect it to this when I put this patch on, but it looks pretty, pretty solid in there the plate won't fall down um i i hope it works okay i've trimmed down the galvanized panel to match the rusted holes there and we're going to go ahead and 
trim it down some more and then tack it. Okay, so like here it is. I've welded this all up and uh, put a coat of Bondo on it to make it look better. I'm going to paint it up real quick, but it came out pretty good. Um, okay, I put a bit of uh, etching primer on. You can see it's pretty smooth, and uh, I put it all across the, uh, the vent seals. So that's it for today. It's under eight minutes, which is good and a good length for a video. I've taken that corner and replaced it with the steel replacement part. It came out great. Um, along the way, I did do some more touch-up welding, but I didn't include those in the video. The next step is going to be a little more difficult, and that's using this piece of steel that I just picked up from Metals Depot and reforming the uh, tunnel cover on the inside of the rover. So I'll be working on that pretty soon. Thanks.